They were probably used to big rig trucks going down the road. They're a fairly common sight. You see them everywhere you go. But the two behind me are special because, well, they can drive themselves. I'm Antoine Goodwin for CNET, and these are the Freightliner Inspiration Trucks. I'm about to hop inside and take a quick spin. On the cluster here, you can see Highway Pilot is available. So I'm going to go ahead as a driver. I have the choice. I can choose to enable it. I'm going to do that. And now I'm being able to run hands-free and feet-free. The truck is actually going to do a jog here based on the lane markings completely on its own to maintain lane position. Now we've got the forward-looking radar which is looking at the vehicle in front of us to maintain safe following distance and then we have the camera pods up in the upper windshield that's what's looking at the lane markings and that's what's uh, allowing the uh, vehicle to steer itself. So at this point in time I'm completely hands-free I've got my cruise control set at 55, and the vehicle is driving down the road on its own. Now what happens if something, for example, we get to a stretch of highway where there are no lane markers, they disappear because of construction? So this is an example of the system telling you, telling me that I need to take control back. Essentially it's going to give me a visual uh, warning, followed by an audible warning, and then at that point in time the driver needs to, needs to take control. At any point in time, if I want to override the system, I can do so. Now this week, the Freightliner Inspiration Truck became the first autonomous truck to receive an autonomous driving license for use in the state of Nevada, which means that it can actually drive legally on roads right now. But with only four states in the District of Columbia being the only ones that are fully autonomous legal in the United States, it'll probably be a while before you see it on a road near you.